Welcome dear students, we are on the CC Gurukul lecture and we are in the series of electronic circuit. In the electronic circuit, we are discussing the ba basic electronic components which are used in the construction of electronic gadgets. So, up to now we discussed many electronic components. So, we discussed the one of the most important which is commonly used in every mobile, in every um, uh, aircraft uh, and in many more devices that is the antennas. Antenna is a very important electronic device which are used to transfer the signals from one end to the another end. So, in today's lecture, we discuss what is the antenna and what are the types of antenna, why we need the antenna, why and what are the parameters required for the construction of the antenna and so many things regarding the antenna we will discuss in today's lecture. So, first we discuss what is the definition, what is the antenna is. Antenna you all have seen that uh, antenna uh, on the which is a transducer device and which converts the electric power into the electromagnetic waves and vice versa. It means it converts the electrical power into the electromagnetic waves and these electromagnetic waves transfers from one end to the another end and similarly it converts the electromagnetic waves into electrical power. So, antenna is a transducer device and uh, which is used for the conversion of the electric power into the electromagnetic wave and vice versa. The next why we need antennas. Antenna, there are many reasons to use the antennas, but the main reason is to provide the easy method to transmit the signals wherever other techniques are not possible. So, we use the antenna there when where we were not required the where we transfer the electromagnetic waves and we do not require the, uh, uh, the wire and other components. So, why we need the antenna? For instance, the pilot of a can we can take we can take an example that the pilot of an, an aeroplane and uh, needs to con to converse with the ATP personal frequently. So, the communication between them can be done through the wireless communication and the antennas. This uh, antenna was done the wireless communication with the signals uh, which are very fast. So, which are the entry for that? So, there are the several conditions otherwise the applications where the cables are chosen over the wireless communication through the antennas. So, what are the fundamental parameters and what are the type of antennas? What are the fundamental parameters of the type of antennas? Basically, in many application of the antennas, antennas are associated with the some basic parameters and uh, sometimes these are called the characteristics or the properties of the antenna. A antenna is designed on the basis of its property or its characteristics so that it can use accordingly. So, the characteristics of the antenna or the properties are includes the following. Number one is the radiation pattern of the antenna at which radiation frequency it will work. So, the first parameter is the radiation pattern of the antenna. Second is the polarization of the antenna. Other is the intensity of the radiation which can be transfer and effective aperture gain and directivity is also the one of the parameter of the antenna. Bandwidth which is very important at, at which we bandwidth the antenna is working. Power gain and the radiation efficiency, how efficiently the radiation will be transmitted from this antenna. And uh, next is effective length of the antenna, sometimes it is not require the long uh, device, we require the small device. So, length is also important in the construction of the antenna. Input impedance which we are giving to the antenna. So, on the basis of that there are the many uh, parameters uh, which is required for the construction of the antenna, property of types of antenna. The different properties we can discuss, first is the antenna gain which is very important, then next is the aperture, the size, 
basically the design of the antenna directivity and the bandwidth of the antenna polarization effective length and the polar diameter we discuss one by one what is the antenna gain first we discuss the parameter that measure the degree of directivity of the antenna's radial pattern is known as a gain 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 defined gain defined basically the measurement of the degree of directivity of the antenna radial pattern an antenna with a higher gain is more effective and its radiation pattern it means the antenna design in such a way that power raises in the wanted direction and the decrease in the unwanted direction the direction is very important so the measurement of the directivity is very important degree of the directivity is important in the antenna gain so it is represented by the g and power radiated by an antenna divided by power radiated by reference antenna that is a ratio of the power radiated by an antenna and the power radiated by the reference antenna next parameter is the aperture the aperture is also known as the effective aperture of the antenna that actively participated in the transmission and the reception of the electromagnetic waves basically we are transferring the electromagnetic wave so aperture is important parameter for the transmission and the reception of the electromagnetic waves the power received by the antenna gets associated with the collective area so the area is designed in such a manner so that we can get the more gain so it uh, this collected area of an antenna is known as the effective aperture the area where we are collecting the electromagnetic waves from where we can transmit and receive the waves that will be designed in such a manner so that we can get the that get the electromagnetic wave efficiently so this is the effective aperture that is defined by pr is equal to pd into a where a or we can define aperture a is equal to pr divided by pt now next parameter is the directivity and the bandwidth the directivity of the antenna is defined as the measure of the concentration power radiation in the particular direction that uh, we need antenna so that we can transmit the signal in a particular direction so for this the directivity is a important parameter it may consider as a capacity uh, capability of an antenna to direct radiated power in a given direction in a particular direction we can transmit the uh, transmit the electromagnetic waves through antenna so directivity is a directivity and bandwidth is the one of one of the important parameter it can also be noted that the ratio of the radiation intensity in a given direction to the average radiation intensity in other words the bandwidth is one of the desired parameter to choose an antenna it can define as a range of frequency over which the antenna can properly radiate energy and receive energy so bandwidth is very important part through which we can decide that how much range of the frequency is required to radiate energy and receive energy means uh, uh, at a particular bandwidth the antenna will transmit and receive the signal so it is also a defined of the range of the frequency of the antenna which is very important so next is the polarization as we know that electromagnetic waves are required or uh, for the electromagnetic wave launches from antenna may be polarized vertically or horizontally and on the basis of that it is defined horizontally and the vertically uh, polarized antennas so if the wave gets polarized in the vertical direction then e vector is vertical and it is require a vertical antenna for if the e is in the horizontal way then it needs a horizontal antenna to launch it uh, sometimes a circular polarization is used it is combination of the both the horizontal and the vertical waves on the screen we are having a vertical and the horizontal uh, polarized antennas next is a effective length as length is an important parameter for, for to define the efficiency of an antenna in the form of the transmission and the receiving of the electromagnetic waves so it is defined also as a effective 
effective length length is defined in terms of the effective length so effective length can be defined for the transmission and receiving antenna how much length we required for the transmitting signal and how much uh, length is required for the receiving the signal so antenna as a design on that basis so effective length can be defined for both the transmitted and the receiving antenna so ratio of the emf at the receiver input to the intensity of the electric field that occurred on the antenna is known as the receiver's effective length in which we define the effective length for the transmitting uh, transmitting antenna and for the receiving antenna for the receiving antenna we can define it as the ratio of the emf at the receiver input to the intensity of the electric field that occurred on the antenna is defined as the receiver's effective length and if we talk about the transmission for the transmitted length then we can define effective length is equal to effective length of the transmitter can be defined as the length of the free space in the conductor and the current distribution across its length generates the same field intensity in any direction of the radiation so uh, in broader the effective length define as which is the ratio of the area under the non uniform current distribution to the area under the uniform current distribution effective length may be defined as the ratio of the area under the non uniform current distribution over the area under the uniform current distribution that is the effective length and keeping in mind that uh, keeping in mind this parameter the antenna are designed so effective length is equal to area under the non uniform current distribution divided by the area under the uniform current distribution now polar uh, diagram here you see the most significant property of the antenna is its radiation pattern or the polar diagram polar diagram which is required for designing of an antenna which is a very significant property and in the case of the transmitting antenna so this is a polar diagram for the transmitting antenna and this plot that discussed about the strength of the power of the field radiated by the antenna in various angular direction as you see is in the diagram that how uh, that 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 the antenna can transmit the signal in the angular directions as uh, as a plot can also be obtained for both the vertical and horizontal planes and it is also named as the vertical and horizontal patterns if we got from the vertical side vertical polarization then it is a vertical pattern if we if, if we get it from the horizontal uh, polarize polarization then it is a horizontal pattern now we we'll discuss the various different type of antenna you see on the screen that this is the type of antenna i think you all have seen the antennas the right hand side you see that uh, that is a tv antenna other uh, one is a radar uh, antenna satellite antenna and you are seeing the various type of antenna here so now we we'll discuss the different type of antennas now the log periodic antennas are botai antenna log periodic dipole array that is a log periodic antenna second is wire antenna that is a short dipole antenna wire antenna are the short dipole antenna dipole antenna monopole antenna and loop antenna traveling wave antenna are the helical antenna and aguda antenna so these are the microwave antenna are the rectangular and micro strip antenna and uh, next is the polar inverted f antenna this microwave antenna is always used in the mobiles and other uh, small devices microwave antenna rectangular micro strip antenna planar inverted f antenna reflector antenna are there that is the corner reflector and the parabolic reflector 
so uh, one by one we will discuss the various antenna so these are the various types of antenna first we discuss the log periodic antenna what is this log periodic antenna you see on the screen that this is a log periodic antenna which is uh, the log periodic antenna is also named, named as a log periodic array and uh, it is a multi element directional narrow beam antenna that works on a wide range of the frequency and uh, this type of antenna is made of series of the dipoles placed along the antenna axis at different space intervals of time by a logarithmic function of the frequency that's why it is called the log periodic antenna a log periodic antenna is used in the wide range of application where we use the variable bandwidth and uh, where we require the variable bandwidth then we use this uh, then we use this log periodic antenna and uh, this uh, the, the, uh, the variable bandwidth is required along with the antenna gain and the directivity so this is a log this is a log periodic antenna the next is the bow type antennas you see on the screen that this is the bow tie antenna you see that uh, this is a biconical antenna and it is just like a butterfly antenna so biconical antenna is an omnidirectional wide band antenna so you see that uh, it is having the uh, two part so according to the size of this antenna it has the low frequency responses and act as a high pass filter so because of this it goes the higher limitations and any from the design frequency the radiation pattern of this antenna gets distorted and spread is depends upon the size next is a log periodic log periodic dipole array this uh, type this most commonly type of used wireless communication antenna and uh, log periodic dipole array that fundamentally com comprises a number of dipole element you see on the screen that we are having parallel plates dipole plates and uh, these dipole antenna reduce in the size from the back end to the front end you see left hand side it is a larger uh, dipole area and you see on the right hand side it decreases accordingly the leading beam of this rf antenna comes from the smaller front end you see that on the screen that on the right hand side we are having a smaller uh, front end the element that at the back end of the array is larger in size with the half wavelength operating in the low frequency range so the space of the elements get reduced towards the front end of the array within the smallest area are placed during this operation the frequency varies a smooth transmission takes place along the array of the element which leads to forming an active region so the the size reduction is because that we can get the active reason for transmission of the and getting of the signal so during the operation the frequency varies uh, varies a smooth transition take place along the area of the element and that's why it is working in the uh, active reason so next is the wire antenna a wire antenna which is the wire which connect over the wire you see on the screen that this is the wire type of antenna so wire antenna is also known as the linear or the curved antenna and these antenna are very simple cheap and are used in the wide range of applications and these antenna further divided into four you see first is a as as a dipole antenna you see here that antenna sections and uh, radiating element are here and the feeder and dipole antenna now you see a dipole antenna is one of the most straight forward antenna alignment and this dipole antenna consists of two thin metal rods with a sinusoidal voltage difference between them you see here we are having a two sinusoidal that is having a parallel uh, pa that are the parallel 
sinusoidal uh, metal rods and uh, that is that is between that we can get the sinusoidal voltage difference in these metal rods the length of the rod is chosen in such a way that they have a quarter length of the wavelength of operational frequency the length of the antenna uh, is chosen in such a way so that that uh, that its wavelength will be in the range of the wavelength of operational frequency so these antennas are used in designing their own antennas and other antennas they are very simple and in construction and use dipole antenna consist of two metallic rod through which current and frequency can be flowed and uh, this current and the voltage flow makes an electromagnetic wave and the radio signals get radiated so these two two metallic rod are used for the uh, flow of the electromagnetic wave and the radio signals uh in uh, in this metal plate so that it can be radiated the antenna consists of radiated element that splits the rod and makes current flow through the current by using a feeder as a transmitter output can take takes from the receiver the different type of dipole antenna used as rf antenna and which includes a half wave multiple folded non resonant and so on so this uh, this uh, antenna consists of radiating element with splits the rods and make current flow through the center by using a feeder at the transmitter out that takes from the receiver so rf antenna are of rf and in antenna is of dipole antenna so now the next dipole antenna in the next dipole antenna is the short dipole antenna the short dipole antenna where the length is short you see on the screen that uh, the upper side is this length feeder again it is divided by the two metallic rod which are parallelly uh, connected and the radiated elements are there this is a short antenna it is a, it is the simplest type of all antenna the antenna uh, antenna is an open circuited wire in which a short node short denoted relative to the length so this antenna gives a priority to the size of the wire related to the wavelength of the frequency of the operation this uh, antenna is an open circuit wire in which the short related to the wavelength so the antenna gives a priority to the size of the wire it uh, does take any consideration about the absolute size of the dipole antenna the short dipole antenna is made up of the two collinear conductors that are placed end to end and with a small gap between the conductors by the feeder so a dipole is considered short if the length of the radiating element is less than the length of the wavelength that's why it is called the short and dipole antenna you see l is less than lambda by 10 the length is shorter than that of the wavelength of the length the short dipole antenna is made of the two collinear conductors that are placed end to end and a small gap between the conductor feeder the short dipole antenna is in is Uh, infrequently satisfactory from a efficient uh, view point because most of the power entering this antenna is dissipated as heat and resistive losses also become the gradually high thank you very much